What's going on guys? Welcome back to Retro and Nerdy. I'm Juan. This is Jen. And today we are in Maze Landing, New Jersey. We are visiting Far Point Collectibles and Toys. Uh, yeah, you probably heard of the shop. A ton of retro channels have been to the shop already. Uh, but yeah, this is our visit. So let's do it.
left far point and we came to the second location. Um, you'll see the address right here. And yeah, we're gonna go inside and check it out.
at the second location for Farpoint Collectibles. Again, put the address in here so you can see. The gentleman there was awesome, fun to talk to you. But yeah, we'll show off some of the stuff we picked up when we get back to the studio. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. And we are back at the Retro and Nerdy Studio. So truth be told, uh, this is the following day uh, that you've seen the, the video. Uh, we decided to move some things around and it took forever. Then we also had to pick up uh, my mother-in-law, Jen's mom, from the airport, which was pretty late as well. And uh, we were pretty tired. Uh, we had to run some errands early today. It was just, we were very tired from yesterday. Uh, we kind of threw everything together and uh, hope for the best. And hope for the best. We still got some some ways to go, some mm -mm. stuff to hang. Uh, but we wanted to kind of do a more, um, just change our, our whole room around, the whole aesthetic. I also picked up a new camera, Sony's, oh, you see, <laughs> <laughs> Sony ZV-10. And uh, so now we're using two, two DSLRs. Uh, this will be our, our vlogging camera when we go out and hit the road and go to these cons. And again, we, we have some tweaking to do, but, you know, we didn't do we, we also didn't get to do a podcast because it was just so late and we were already kind of just over it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. quick thoughts about where we went to uh, Farport Collectibles, our first stop. Um, they definitely had a lot of figures. Uh, they had a lot of uh, Star Wars, definitely. Um, a lot of G.I. Joe. They had a good selection of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, so they, they had a bit of everything. They had comics in the back, a lot of Marvel figures. Yeah. Farpoint is known for having like a, a museum kind of collection mm -hmm. as well. Uh, unfortunately, that was closed off. So we didn't get to take a close look on it. But like I said in the video, a um, bunch of other channels have also visited that shop before. Um, that, uh, what is it? Not another retro channel has went there recently with a couple of other guys in that community and uh, did a great job covering it. So go watch their videos. Uh, again, just all kinds of toys, all kinds of figures. We actually went to two spots. So Farpoint has their main location, which is, let me pull up the address. Um, who is it? Uh, so their, their main location, their flagship store is in May's Landing. And then down the road, uh, I believe it was, what was it, Woodbury Antiques? I was 15 minutes away. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Woodbury Antiques. That's the second place we went to. So we spoke to the guy at Woodbury Antiques, very nice guy too. Um, and he was saying that people rent out space in his store and basically put stuff up for sale, uh, like a consignment. Kind of reminds me, um, a lot of places in Japan have that. Like a lot of anime. Yes. Like for people who want to sell like their figures. Right. They rent a space. You know, that's where they sell their items. Right. It's pretty cool. No, it's so awesome. Um, so that's that's what they do there. Uh, we spoke to the guy for about 30 minutes and the guy's pretty, pretty hip to the scene collecting. He said he's a collector of comic books himself. Mm hmm. And he, uh, you know, was just telling us about some shows that 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 are coming up there, and uh, it's a toy show. It's going to take place there. Uh, Farpoint itself, such a great shop. Uh, they believe they had an episode in uh, uh, Amazon kind of documentary. It's uh, a toy store. It's a toy store, um, and you know, about a year or two ago, they suffered a fire. And lost the building, but were able to crowdfund uh, the repairs and, and come back better than ever. So it was great to visit and see, you know, all the new stuff they have in there. And just very friendly shop. Justin and Penelope are very good people. Uh, they usually do a border town show every week as well. They go live and sell stuff off their Facebook, uh, I believe Twitch as well. So go check them out. I'll put a link to their store in the description. So let's get to pickups. Um, I'm going to start off with you. Yeah. Uh, let me just get <laughs> situated. 
So I'm going to show what I picked up over at Four Point First. Uh, hold on. This is Joe's bed. You're Barney. Okay. So first thing I picked up, uh, this is complete. This is the Cheapskate. It's pretty cool, as you can see. <laughs> Shin Scammer too, but yeah, this is complete, and again, it's going to go up on the wall over here. It's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, put some some figures on it. Uh, then I got this catapult from them as well. Uh, it does work. I was just whew. so I picked this up. And the prices there were really good mm -hmm. uh, for their open stuff. Uh, maybe down the line, there's some of these I want to collect clothes. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. And then the next, the last thing is the turtle cycle. I picked this up. Uh, they had one box there, but I didn't want to pick it up. Uh, I wanted maybe one with a little better condition. So pick this up. This is going to go on display right over here. Uh, then we went to the other store that they have, and oy, we picked up a real Ghostbusters lunchbox. No thermos, no thermos, but again, it was like 10, Ten bucks. bucks, so this is going to go up on the shelf. After that, we hit up some different stores there. Hit up a, a retro gaming store called NL Video Games, I believe. Again, they have a ton of stuff, graded games, graded books, um, some higher end stuff. Prices is okay, a little a little more than price charting, but that's the name of the game. I picked up Tetris number two. Again, I'm trying to collect as many Game Boy games as possible. So pick this bad boy up. And then a little bit something for me is the Game Genie for the Game Boy. So, so glossy. And I picked this one up. Again, a couple of bucks. And that's going to go on the shelf as well on the display. Some good shops out there in... Um, we were by Maze Landing, not too far from Galactic City. So that's where we were. Uh, I had a good time going there. You know, not a place I would go to every weekend just because it's kind of far. Uh, but it's yeah. good that we, we went out and checked out their store. It's been such a long time since we have. So All right, babe, take it away. All right. So since we already kind of saw this guy, um, I got Barney. I know. Crazy, right? Um, so, yeah. Like two bucks, right? It was like two, three dollars. The love of Barney. Oh, and then what, what did you call him? Barney. Yeah. Is it something demon? <laughs> I don't know. I was probably just messing with you. I know. We uh, keep looking over here because this is where our monitor yeah, is. Yeah. I just want to make well, sure we, I, I, I look. I just flipped the screen for you so you could actually see <laughs> see what you're showing. Um. Okay. And then let me grab my bag. All right. So um, where what did I get? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. So the antique store. Oh, I dropped something. Um, there was definitely a lot of items and rows to go through. Yeah. So a lot of it was very nostalgic because there was things that I even had when I was a kid. So to see it again is, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy. Um, but when I was walking down the aisle, um, I saw this lunch bag and I immediately grabbed it, not even looking at the price. Um, and it was five bucks. This is a Pokemon lunchbox. Like a lunch bag. Lunchbox. Like a lunch bag, yeah. I mean it's it's a little rough. It's it's loved. But I mean who, who did it belong to? All right. So it says here Colin Krause <laughs> number two zero seven. So I mean I'm gonna try to get that out and if it doesn't come out, it is what it is. But still um, to find this for five bucks was crazy because I know usually these things go for some more depending like 20, 40 bucks. Right. And right. it doesn't have the thermos, but I don't know if it even had one when this came out, but still um, pretty cool find. So, yeah. 
I'm looking forward to adding it to the collection. And then, I'm just going to drop it. <laughs> um, the next thing I found, if you don't know, you're going to know now. Um, growing up, I was a huge Spice Girls fan. Yep. So I had the dolls. I had the one that came like in the five pack. I even had the individual dolls. I even owned the movie. Yeah. So I was, I'm still uh, a huge fan of the Spice Girls. So when I saw this, this was one that I originally wanted to pick up just because the dress is different. I mean, I have all of them, but when I saw this, I just, you know, I had to get it. Is that ginger? It's ginger. It's uh, Jerry Spice. Jerry. Yay. So the box was good. Um, obviously, there's some rattling around because I guess the video camera fell yeah. that she comes with, but still. Um, Doesn't really appear cool. it was opened ever, so. I, it's unfortunate. I have all of them, but they're in storage, unfortunately, just because I don't have any space to put them in. Um, but yeah, this was really cool to find. They had all the other characters, uh, like the other girls, but I just wanted to grab her. You're wanting that one? Yeah. Um, hold on. I don't want to drop her, though. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. Now, I also found this really cool item. Which I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick up, but because it was eight bucks, I said, why not? This is a Pokemon mix and match digital watch. Yeah, I thought that was pretty pretty cool. As you can see from the back here, I have a, a decent, uh, it's not overboard, but it's just, you know. You could probably Google on some of that too in the front. Oh, yeah. I try to take as much off of it as I could. But still, pretty cool. Um, Never opened, so I'm going to try to put it up somewhere back here. But yeah, 8 bucks wasn't bad. Usually when I see Pokemon stuff, it, uh, it ranges in price. It's a little more. Yeah. Um, hold on. I have a few things in here. Oh, I also found... Hold on. Bear with me. Um... I'm going to be struggling all day. So in Florida, when we went to Disney, um, I came across these figures, these uh, like vinyl nation figures. Um, and I picked up, um, I'm forgetting the name right now. It's from Night Before Christmas. Igor. I picked him up. And I didn't realize that they took out the dog versions of him. So I picked up Dodger from Oliver and Company. You see him? It's Maybe probably the glare. Limits. Yeah. I suck. <laughs> I know it's a, it's tiny, so it's hard to. Yeah, get but zoomed in. I picked him up, and then I also found um, in a show that I used to watch a lot back in the day. It's called Metabots. I picked up these cards. Never opened. So, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then I picked up the Hunchback of Notre Dame trading cards. There we go. Ta -da! Sweet. All right. And that's for that store. Um,. Oh, I put one of the items away already. I keep doing that. It's a bad habit. Um, but it's a Ami Kami figure that w I picked up from River City Comics, I think. Um, not a bad price. I mean, it's out of the box. It's um, a little rough, but it was a really uh, beautiful figure. Some figures that I don't really find that often, so I said, why not? And I picked it up. So the other things I picked up were these magazines. So these are uh, Beckett anime and manga so the guy was nice enough to charge me a dollar per and I initially wanted one of them just because it had which is this one it mm -hmm. had an article on the Sailor Starlights mm -hmm. so that's the only reason I wanted it but then he was like oh if you want them all I'll give it to you for a dollar like dollar each so I said okay I mean back in the day I guess these were like seven dollars this is from 
2005. Yeah, he cut you a good deal. Yeah, he was really nice. Um, and then I have Yu-Gi-Oh. Naruto. And another Naruto. <laughs> so the guy was like, yeah, you know, they've been there for about a while. So if you want them all, you could just get them for a dollar. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Why not? Not everything? Um, I think so. I think so. Yeah, just uh, we wanted to talk about a little bit about the places we went to yesterday. Um, sorry if this just we're just off today. We're extremely tired, um, but we did want to put out a video. We want to thank everybody as well for uh, helping us hit a hundred. We hit a hundred subscribers, so thank you so much. Thank you everyone who subscribed and supports. So we're we're gonna keep making content like this, hopefully, uh, and hopefully you guys keep watching and you guys enjoy it. And yeah, that's yeah. Let me zoom it. This is the only reason I wanted the magazine. Yeah, but you for know. a dollar, can't beat Yay. it. But yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, next week, I get a promise will be a lot better. Uh, next week, we don't have anything really planned because the following week, Zolo it's going to be ZoloCon. So that's the big show we're looking forward to. But we'll we'll do we'll put out something next week mm -hmm. as well. Uh, this will go up probably tonight. I hope everybody, you know, if you enjoy football, you enjoy the Super Bowl, you eat well. And uh, for us, we're going to get back to cleaning up and sorting everything out. Hopefully, get some rest. Again, we apologize if we're just not super energetic. We really enjoyed our weekend. But again, yesterday was, you know, I'm coming off of a sickness and, you know, Jen, Jen's been working pretty hard all week. So uh, it's been, uh, it was a challenging weekend trying to get everything moved around and, and taken care of. So thank you so much for, for sitting through with us in this. And, uh, you know, yeah. So I'm Juan. I'm Jen. This is Retro and Nerdy. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.